<laughs> well, I winged it last night. I'm not going to quite wing it tonight because I made a glaring error talking about the trenches of New York in World War I. <laughs> so that didn't happen, obviously. Um, our last song is God Bless America, a very iconic song written by an even more iconic songwriter that you may have heard of called Erling Berlin. And he has um, a lot going on, Stephen Foster and, and George Cohen, because he's wrote 1,500 songs in his 16-year career, 60-year career. And <laughs> trenches, no trenches, you know. <laughs> uh, 20 were original Broadway shows, 15 were original Hollywood films, and eight songs were nominated for Academy Awards. So Ir Irving Berlin came over here at the age of five from Russia as a Jewish immigrant. In 1918, he first wrote this song during World War I in New York, a place called Yaphank. Um, and he had written it and decided it wasn't quite right for the Yip Yank. Yip Yip Yank Yip Hank review that they were doing, so he set it aside. Well then again, in 1938, before World War II, um, he revised it and rewrote a little bit of it, and he wrote it as a prayer for World War II, especially with his Jewish background and light of everything with Adolf Hitler. It was first sung by Kate Smith on her radio show. Um, that became the most iconic song that she ever sang, and it also she also was the most popular singer of this. He wrote it as a prayer, and it includes an introduction that you she always sang, but you re rarely hear. Um, you'll hear it in our song, so I hope you enjoy it.
thank you very much for all the applause and for enjoying the music. It's always our pleasure to come here. We always look forward to coming here and singing for you. Um, last night we sang in McGuanago, sang the same concert, and at this moment, when I started speaking, fireworks started going off outside. <laughs> Didn't plan it, just happened. I'm listening. <laughs> Don't hear it tonight, unfortunately. But um, we really enjoyed uh, performing and learning these songs. The reason I chose uh, this music uh, for this time is because um, I always pick the music in December after our, or November. And uh, after the last election, <coughs> you know, there's a lot of stuff that goes on. And people in this choir and I, we all have different viewpoints on things. And one thing that unites us is music. And it doesn't matter our political affiliations, our thoughts, our religious thoughts, or anything like that. We're all Americans, and we all want our country to be the best it can be. And so that's the reason I chose this music. I chose this music because it brings us together. It's part of our history. And so we wanted to share that with you tonight. And I wanted to share that with my choir. And you heard all of the history behind all of the songs tonight. I didn't tell them what to say. I asked them who wanted to come up and say something and they came up on their own and did that. So I appreciate them doing that. So I appreciate uh, you coming tonight. People in the, from the community, um, if you would be so kind, we are raising money for the uh, InterVarsity Christian Fellowship on uh, UW Whitewater campus. There's a basket back there. Fairhaven has made a donation on behalf of the residents of Fairhaven. But if you're in the community and you're here tonight, we'd appreciate it if you could donate to their cause. They do some great work on campus for the kids, helping guide them, uh, especially some of the kids who are a little bit lost in what they're doing and help guide them in a good way. So we appreciate it. So thank you very much for your attention and for coming tonight. Appreciate it. God bless.